What is up, guys? Welcome back for week five of the GBA. This week we are taking on It's Gator and his Florida Gators. Uh, the guys, uh, you, get, you guys see the team on screen that I think he's going to bring. The five that he has in the back are Mama Swine type, Nell Klefki, Drapion, uh, as well as Floatzel. So we're going to find out in a few seconds here what Gator decided to bring for us. There is no team builder this week because we do play Gator again this season. Uh, he is a division rival. So I got to keep uh, my team a little bit secretive in case certain sets don't get revealed. So we picked up a pretty big win last week. Hopefully we can keep the uh, the streak going. And um, Gator and, uh, and Wolfie aren't doing too great. Uh, I believe they're both two and two. So uh, this might be a chance for me to, uh, to climb back in. If I can beat Gator and if Chimp can beat Wolfie, then we're looking okay all of a sudden. So here we go. We're going to pick our participating team. It's going to be this one right here. Uh, I am bringing Barbarical again. It does good work to his team. Uh, we are... Uh, actually, I'm not going to tell you my full set in case it doesn't actually hit the field. So here we go. Uh, we're going to begin the battle. Uh, both my audios... Yeah, okay. Everything's working. We are recording. All right, we're good to go. Worst case, I would uh, I would have to post -com this. I would use Gator's Replay, but because for some reason my SD card will not save replays. But yeah, so let's uh, let's see what Gator's bringing for us. Um, if it's these six, then I have a very, uh, a very clear win condition. I know what I need to do to win this game. Should it be these six? So let's find out. I just gotta be very careful with that snake. That snake is the biggest issue. Alright, it's a very mellow song to start things off here. Alright. So Gator's choosing his team. Uh, he's probably explaining his team, I would assume. Because I, I think he does live comms still. Uh, I haven't actually watched any one of his games this season, but I, sh I really should. Gator's got uh, pretty interesting commentary. You guys should go and check him out in the description. I'll tell you that at the end of the battle, too. Alright, so we see... Haha, <laughs> Mamo Keys. Alright, Mamo Keys is coming. So we're going to get uh, Flygon off of the layout, as well as... Uh, what is it? Crobat's there, Heat Ren's there. Serp is there. He didn't bring Buzzwall? Whoa. Where are your return switch-ins, buddy? <laughs> Other than Klefki. Alright, so we got Mamo, uh, who's behind Heat Ren. And so I'll put Heat Ren over here. Uh, and then we got Keys. Uh, Keys is here. Alright, so it looks to me like um, honestly, Zapdos isn't a bad lead. Uh, I think Milotic or Lopini are also really good leads. My lot, uh, Lopini does a good amount to his team. Yeah, I'm going to lead off with Lop. Do I? Hold on. I have Zapdos for the Hazards. The Hazards are fine. I don't really care about them too much. Um, What's the best lead against him? Yeah, I think it's going to be... Uh, I think it's actually going to be Zapdos regardless. Just because if he leads off with Mammo, I'm going to immediately switch into my, uh, my Milotic. That's what I'm going to do. As, uh, okay, I can keep my Mudsdale for a good amount of his team in this game. Uh, let's just make sure we want to do this. Yeah. Alright, so let's hop into it. Alright, I never got Klefki on the layout. Uh, where is it? It's back behind Crobat. <laughs> Let me move Crobat over. Alright, so keys are back here. Uh, I'm just gonna put Heat Ren above Mega Alt. There we go. Now it looks a little bit better. Alright, so let's see. <laughs> I swapped out my item on Barbarical, and I'm really, really angry at myself for doing that. Uh, Alright, it's fine. So, leads off with the Klefki, as I lead off with Zapdos. Fantastic. Alright, so I have a few options. Uh, I can click Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt's pretty free. It's gonna do a good amount of damage. Here we go. So, uh, Contrary Superior can come in on my Defog. A little bit annoying. Uh, we'll see how much damage we do to this Clef Key with Zapdos. Clef Key. Chise. 42 to 50 to a max defense variant. Which, at this point, he kind of has to be because look at his team and look at Lopini. I have Return and Low Kick. That's all I need. He has Toxic. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how much we do to this Clef Key. If he uses spin-off variant, I think it's still going to be a 3-hit KO. So here comes the Thunderbolt. 
Toxic was kind of obvious. Okay, we get a para immediately. That's pretty big. Alright, so... Um... I'm gonna U-turn out here. I'm not gonna stay in. Because I don't really care if he gets up a spike. I wonder if he has any Sash Mons. Or if this thing is dual status. It'd be a curious uh, develop development right there. Uh, so he can go Mammo, he can go Heat Ran right here. Why is this music so damn loud? It's pretty low too. That's weird. Okay. So... We know that his Klefki is not very specially defensive. It looks to be more physically defensive uh, based on that damage. We did about uh, 45 to him, uh, and that falls right in line with a fully physically defensive Klefki. So I don't really care too much about the Toxic so long as rocks don't go up, which is going to be tough to, to keep from happening. Let's see. He's going to get out. Good. So he's going to go Mammo, right? Regal, who's this? This is the Heat Ran. Okay, cool. So we're going to get a U-turn off. We're going to see that's going to do absolutely nothing, of course. Um, now, I don't know his item yet. Hmm. I'm thinking just Mudsdale is fine. Because I'm going to threaten him out and I'm going to get up my rocks. He's not going to want to let his Tran go down. Let's see if we see an item. Because Power of Solar Beam is a, is a... Okay, good. He's not Power of Solar Beam. He's lefties. Okay, so both Clef Key as well as Heat Ran are both lefties. Okay. And I know that uh, Clef Key is at 60%. Okay. So that's good. Um, I'm going for my rocks now. We know he's not Shooka, so he's probably going to want to get out of here, is what I'm thinking. Serp is a pretty solid switch in for him. What I'm always going to do on Serp though is go into Zapdos and U turn out because I break the sub unless he's like super physically bulky, which makes no sense. So, I'm going to get up our rocks. That's going to threaten the Altaria as well as the Crobat. Uh, it's going to break a potential sash on the Mamoswine. If he wants to bring in Mamoswine right away, that's fine too. Uh, I kind of expect this thing to be his rocker the way that he brought it in on Zapdos. So I'm glad I, I momentumed out of there. I would have preferred his Mammo Swine coming in, to be honest with you, but... Because that would have allowed me my Lodic for free. He's going to get out. He's going to go into Liza. Is this the Serp? Yes, it is. Cool. So we're going to get up our rocks. Those are going up now. That's going to make it harder for Crobat and Altaria to switch in on Lop. And we're going to switch out immediately into Zapdos. That is the game plan. I don't care that I'm poisoned. Uh, I have a Superior with an Aka Berry. So, uh, even if this thing gets a little bit out of control, I can live, I think, a plus four uh, Hidden Power Fire from full. So, that's fine. We're gonna get up the pressure off. He's gonna go for a sub, that's fine, because like I said, I can break the sub with a with a U-turn right here. He can Leech Seed me if he wants to, it doesn't matter. I'll go into Serp after, and I'll go for the, uh, the Poison Jab. So, sub... Sub kind of tells me that he's not... Uh, well, one, it tells me that he's not Scarfed, which means I immediately win with my Wincon right now, so long as his Klefki doesn't have Thunder Wave. Um, we're going to U-turn. He can go for a Leaf Storm if he wants. He'll waste two going for it. He goes for Knock Off. I'm not too upset by that at all, uh, as we are going to get off a uh, a U-turn here. We know he's Sub Knock Off, so Serp is... It's super effective. Faded, good. Serp uh, is lefties sub knock off. Okay, we have a few plays here. We can go into Scallopede and fire off a poison jab, or we can predict and go for a uh, a rock slide on his switch into the Crobat. That's a couple of options that we have. Um, how much would Crobat take? Crobat, with what he's allotted to run into physical defense. Uh, bold, impish, impish, impish. Versus my Scallopede. Shiro, Rock Slide. Uh, is this in doubles? Yes, it is. Singles does 36 to 43. That's pretty good damage. Uh, I'm going to go into Shiro. 
And he has to be running max speed uh, to outspeed a max speed Scallopede. So this thing is going to immediately threaten him. Obviously, he can bring in Mamoswine. The thing is, if he brings in Mamoswine, he's probably not going to Toxic on the following turn, and I can bring in my Milotic and pop my Flame Orb, which is what I want. So I can do that, or I can go for Spikes. I don't want him to fogging my rocks away, so I'm going to go for a Rock Slide here. Hoping that his, uh, his Crobat comes in. And if I catch it, if I hit it with a decent roll, I can two-hit KO it. I doubt he would sub here. He'd, he'd be losing HP on his Serp, and he'd put himself into range of return from Lop the next time he comes in on rocks. And his Lop switch-ins are extremely limited. Like, extremely limited. <laughs> so, sub knockoff. Interesting. I didn't expect knockoff. That kind of limits him to either HP Fire and Leaf Storm, or Leaf Storm and uh, and, uh, and Leech Seed. So he's going to get out of here. He's probably going into the Crobat. There's Nat. That is definitely the Crobat. So we predicted this correctly. He's going to take 25%. He's going to take a Rock Slide. And let's see how much this does. It does a clean amount of damage. That is a two-hit KO, my friends. As we are going to get a Speed Boost now. I don't know if this thing is Scarfed. If it's Scarfed and it locks itself into Brave Bird right here. I could straight up win. And I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Because do I wanna give this thing an opportunity to heal up? Not really. I lost my item on Zapdos, so I'm taking consistent damage. So obviously I should be technically faster than this thing. From the Rock Slide damage, he's not running defense, though, so he could very well be Scarfed, which is the very first set that I thought of when I thought of Crobat, because it would outspeed Lop. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go into Mudsdale, because Mudsdale, the only thing it allows in is Serp, and Serp I'm not scared of because I always go Zap and I always Volt. So if he U-turns here, he just kills himself to Rocks the next time he comes in. He's going to go for Brave Bird. The Recoil might just straight knock him out. We'll see. I am very physically defensive, though, so it may or may not. Uh, that kind of looks very offensive. 138 out of 207. How much is that? Was that banded? Hold on. 138 out of 207 uh, is 66. Uh, so I took 33 from a Crobat on my Mudsdale. Um, no, he just got a mid-roll on a, on a max attack variant. Okay, so this is fine. Um, if the Mammal wants to come in, that's okay. The Serp wants to come in, that's okay. None of that matters. We're gonna get Crobat off the layout. I have Heavy Slam for the Altaria as well as the, uh, the Mammal. Should either of them want to come in. Uh, if he brings in Heat Ren, I'm going for Quake. 100%. I'm knocking out the Mammal Swine. Uh, the, uh, the heat ran, excuse me. So, this makes it kind of difficult for him to deal with my team, because now he doesn't have Crobat to revenge my Lopany or my, uh, Scallopede if that was his Scarfer. Uh, obviously his Mamoswine can be a Scarfer, but that doesn't outspeed Scallopede, and I could be running Superpower. He's gonna go into Liza. This is the Serp, obviously. This is gonna take Rock's damage. Uh, he also lost his probable Defogger. He could also have Defog on Altaria or the, uh, Klefki. Uh, actually, it's more than likely gonna be Klefki. I'm going to switch into my Zapdos uh, once again because I take 25 from the first Leaf Storm if he's max offensive. Actually, I kind of want to bring in Shiro because I can take Leaf Storm into um, I can take Leaf Storm into Hidden Power Fire easily. So we're gonna bring in uh, our Scallopede right here. Let's see what he goes for. Goes for Leaf Storm. Connects. All right, and the thing is, if he V'd this thing to be able to outspeed my uh, my Scallopede, then we're actually looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna go for a Poison Jab this time around. And his Serp is, uh, is getting closer and closer to being in range of Lop every time it switches out of here. So this is looking really good. Obviously, he has two Steel-types that he can still switch into my Poison Jab. 
I'm really glad I caught the uh, the Crobat on the Switch. That was massive. Yeah. Because without the Crobat, revenging this and revenging Lopunny becomes so much harder. Um, Because I have Thunder Wave on Lopunny for the Altaria, too. Hopefully he goes Klefki and he allows me to knock it out. Uh, I might also prioritize getting up a Spike, because getting off 24% on Mamo, Heatran, and the Serp uh, is really, really nice. Or 25%, rather. Uh, prioritizing getting up a Spike is not bad, because he might Magnet Rise in my face, avoiding an Earthquake. He has to know that HP Fire actually doesn't knock me out based on the Leaf Storm damage. I only EV'd myself. He goes for Hidden Power. Is it Fire? It is not Fire. And he crits me. That I don't think that mattered, but what the hell hidden power is that? Alright, so my Scallopede goes down. That's weird. What the hell hidden power are you? Psychic? Psychic flying? Very strange. Okay, we're gonna go zap. We're gonna get off another U-turn. I was really expecting fire. I have a Metagross. Is that why he brought knockoff? It's a little strange. So he's Leaf Storm, Knock Off, Hidden Power, Flying, or uh, Psychic, I guess. Uh, and... And Sub. Alright, so we're gonna go for another U-turn. He can go for whatever he wants. It doesn't really matter. Um, at this point, I'm gonna need to set up with Barbarical. Low Kick is looking nice. I think Heat Run dies from where it's at. Well, it's almost at full, but if it comes in on rocks, Lopany, Reen. Oh, yeah. Even if it's maxed HP, it dies instantly. So he's going to sub. That doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to break his sub, and then I'm going to come in with, uh, with Lop. Thing is, I don't have Fake Out. And Lopany to Superior. Default set. Return to 68 to 82. How much is he at? 50, 55, 60. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, that's to no HP, though. Hmm. Am I going to have to sack my Lop here? Because my Lotic is so good against the rest of his team. That I'm pretty sure this is my play. Yeah, I have to go for this. Why does low kick do almost as much as return? How heavy is Serp? It's crazy. Alright, so he's, he's currently at 65. I do 68 to 82 to no HP. So... Mega Evolve. Return. Let's see if he stays in. Because he has to expect a fake out at some point, right? I'm assuming that he's expecting fake out. If I can get the knockout here, that would be ideal, obviously. He's at, uh, he's actually at 70. He's not at 65, but I'm, I'm doing min, uh, 69. So, unless I get an absolute mineral on no HP. Let's see. High jump kick is also an option that kills him. He can calc it. Ideally, he switches into Altaria. <laughs> that would be incredible. He wow. Did he switch into alt? Is that alt? No, that's Klefki. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, react to the keystone. Alright, so this is still going to do some decent damage to the Clef King, obviously. And now I'm Mega Evolved, which is really nice, because I can even switch in on Serp if I really want to. If I don't want to bring in my Zapdos, for example. Alright, so that did a good amount. Um, obviously, one of my better checks to his Superior is now dead. But... I'm not going to let myself get paralyzed or anything. I'm going to go straight into uh, Eric. 
Switch. I need to knock this thing out. I need to get rid of this. ASAP. This thing is the one thing stopping me from sweeping. I literally sweep straight through him without this thing around. I've only seen Toxic. I need to know if he has Thunder Wave. If I find out his four moves before the next few turns are over and need none of them is Thunder Wave, I'm going in. I'm going straight in. I'm getting out of here, obviously. Going into Eric. If he goes into Serp, that's fine. He's fully paralyzed. That sucks for him. Yeah, that, that Thunderbolt para was pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. That must have been really annoying. Alright, so at this point, we're gonna go for a Heavy Slam. Because it covers a switch out. I think he knows that he needs this. I have a Shooka Berry on... Uh, now I'm not regretting the Shooka. I have a Shooka Berry on the, uh, on the Barbarical. So I can set up on Mamo if I really want to. Because his Ice Shard will do nothing after. Even if it's Life Orb. And I have the perfect coverage for his entire team. I'm, re I'm still really shocked that he didn't bring Buzzwall. Because that was like the perfect Lopany check. Because as you saw right there, I could easily go for... Okay, he has Reflect. Interesting. So he would have let me EQ him there. Uh, Reflect is actually a little problematic. Because I can't revenge the Serp the same way anymore. But he's not like Clay. So that's the first turn of Reflect. Um... Reflect has four out of five turns left. Yeah. I'm going to go for a Roar. Yeah, I'm going to Roar. Because if he brings in Serp, it takes rocks, and then I Roar him out. Liza, yeah. All right, good. So take that rock damage, my friend. And get right out of here. I don't want to see you for the next three turns. Until uh, that Reflect goes down. Back comes in Klefki. Takes rocks, gets his leftovers. Now obviously I could very easily Roar here. Reflect is a little bit annoying. He's not Light Clay, so there's a chance that he doesn't have Light Screen. So I, only, I still only know two of his moves. Toxic and Reflect. So I'm going to go for another Heavy Slam here. I doubt he would switch back into Serp. Because the idea behind Roaring there was to catch his Serp. And now if his Serp comes in, I don't even think it knocks me out from full. Um, does 86 to 102 from max special attack variant. So it has a chance to. But if it comes in here, then Reflect has two turns left. Yeah, I'm just going for a Heavy Slam. If he brings in his Mamo, it's not a problem. Uh, Serp also can't KO Milotic from full. That's another thing, as long as it doesn't have a boost, of course. He goes for Toxic. Good. Alright, so that's going to wear me down. Um... We still have yet to see the rest of this thing's move set, but now it's getting really low. How much is my Zapto set? I kind of want to bring it in here. It said 156 out of 197. I could roost. Yeah, because at this point, his Serp comes in at, like, 50. It's a uh, hidden power flying psychic. And his Serp comes in at, 50, at about 50%. 
And even if it gets two rounds of leftovers, I still revenge him. So I think my better play is, in fact, to go for Heavy Slam. And not Roar here. I should have checked how many Reflect turns there were left. Uh, the turn that Klefki got it up. The next turn, I went for... Roar. Then I went for Heavy Slam. Uh, then I think I went for Heavy Slam again. He's gonna withdraw this time. He's gonna go into Liza, yeah. Alright, so this is gonna take a little bit of damage as well. Nice. Alright, so it's revengeable by Lop, easily. Even Low Kick will do the job, so I can go for Low Kick. I have Thunder Wave for the Altaria as well, with Lop. So, looking pretty good. Um... So how many Reflect turns left? Just one. So I'm tempted to just go for a Roar. I could also just go straight into Lopany and then just fire off a low kick. Because this thing is still good. Honestly, even Poisoned, it's still good. What I don't need is Zapdos. So I'm going to go to Zap. We're going to go straight into Zapdos. Uh, Leaf Storm has a chance to 2-hit KO. Now that his Reflect has one, one turn left, it's an easy U-turn out. Because he can't get it back up. Uh, I think actually I might not U-turn. I'll only U-turn if he subs, because otherwise I think I'm going to click Thunderbolt to prevent his Clefki from coming in. Well, no, that's that's unnecessary, I think, because his Serp is so low, so that doesn't matter. So yeah, I could have roared there, but it's okay. That would have just, that might have given the opportunity for Clefki to come back in. He's actually going to double into Hablog, this should be the Altaria. Oh, no, it's the Mamoswine, okay. Cool. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go into Zap. Uh, like I said, Zap's usefulness in this game has been greatly uh, reduced at this point. I think he might be trying to get up rocks right here. His Reflect wears off. Um, I think this might be my opportunity to set up. But again, I haven't seen the last move on Klefki. The last two moves, actually. We'll just go for a U-turn. If he goes for an Icicle Crash, that's fine. He knows that I have my Lodic in the back. So he could just go for an Earthquake. The double is, is a good play, but... It doesn't accomplish much, because I still get in my Lopany after. And I can freely click Low Kick. At the end of the day, it comes down to his last two moves on his Klefki. The only reason I'm U-turning here is because <clears throat> Zapdos' viability in the game has been reduced, but also because I lost my leftovers and I'm toxic. Uh, I'm not a constant switch into Serp anymore. So I get off the U-turn, I'm actually faster than his Mamoswine. So we're going to damage it a little bit. And I'm going to go into my Lodic. So that's a... I don't know if that's an oversight on his part as far as how much speed I would run. I outsped um, Max Speed Buzzwall. He goes for Stealth Rocks, okay. That's fine. So my Flame Orb is going to pop here. Meaning that he can't really do damage to me. Uh, now the question is... Does he sack the Klefki here? His Serp's like at 30. It's like at 25, so it'll come in at 12. It should die to Scald. So we'll go for Scald here. It's the freest Scald that I've ever fired off. Not the freest, but... <clears throat> A Scarfed Keldeo would be the freest, because I wouldn't take any damage. But yeah, Scald is pretty safe here. Yeah, rocks being up is not that much of an issue. If he stays in, if he goes Serp, like, none of that matters at this point. Serp doesn't knock my Lodic out at all. Asuna takes 77 max. So depending on how much damage he does to me here with his Mamoswine, I think his Mamoswine's a little bit bulkier, just based on the fact that uh, I outsped it with, uh, with Zapdos. It could still be max attack adamant, 
I'm not taking that off the table. But, um... But yeah, even that's gonna not do too much damage to me, so... So yeah, we're just gonna go for a Scald here. Uh, I'm not sure if Serp takes it. That's the thing. I'm not sure if Superior takes my Lodic Scald. It does 16 to 18, so yeah, he doesn't take it. He's gonna withdraw. Is he sacking his Klefki? Is this Klefki? Yes, it is. Okay, so he actually sacks his Klefki, which opens the door wide open. Wide open. To Barbarical. Like, I'm actually going to set up on his Mamoswine. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Mamoswine versus Barbarical. Jiraiya. Earthquake does 57 max. From Adamant Life Orb, it does... 68 to 81. Then Ice Shard while I'm at minus one. Actually, eh. It's kind of scary. Um, he's going to go into Liza, which is his Serp, obviously. Um, and I live this, so... Yeah, I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam. Uh, how healthy is Mudsdale? Oh, it's... I'm not even worried about ult setting up on me. Ice Beam. Ghost Relief Storm. Connects. This is not going to knock me out. At all. So we're going to get off this Ice Beam. We're going to get rid of the Superior. Beautiful. If Altaria wants to come in, that's fine. Um, it can try to set up in front of me. If it wants to. Uh, I'm probably going to go for a Toxic. He would have to set up twice. So, where's the superior? Am I missing something? Oh, I already took it off. <laughs> I was like, I need to take a superior off the layout. Where is it? And it's like, it's already checked off. <laughs> so, as long as I can... I think as long as I connect a Thunder Wave with Lopini, I win. Milotic did its job. It, it knocked out Klefki and it knocked out um, Superior. Asuna, good job. You beat Sasuke <laughs> over there. Or Kirito, I don't know. Well, this is supposed to be Sakura, right? <laughs> With the pink hair. And Sasuke from the Hidden Leaf Village. Don't worry, I have a Naruto reference in the back too. I have Jiraiya. Um, yeah, so I don't know what he does here. I'm not sure. And like, he lost his reflector. I can still heavy slam his alt. Hablog, this is the, uh, the Mamoswine. So we're gonna see its item right here. We may or may not see its item, I don't know. Um, it's gonna depend. Is it gonna be Life Orb? Let's find out. It's called. If it's Life Orb, I think it dies to return after. He goes for Earthquake. What item do we see? I doubt he runs dual Scarfers. Is it Life? Yeah, okay. It's Life Orb. Alright, so I'm not bringing in Barbarical on this. I'll bring it in on Heat Ran, because Heat Ran can't touch me. Alright, so, um... We're on the, uh, the Paralyzed Altaria. I go for Return... I live as attack from Altaria with my Barbarical. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get my Lodic off the, the layout. So I'm just trying to think of the end game here. Um, so Mamoswine, does it die to return? Lopany. 63, what if he's max HP? 54, ma 54 min to max HP. Um, if he has a little bit of defense, like 80. I still knock him out. And at this point, I don't think he's going to sack this. I don't think he's going to switch out. I think he's just going to sack this. So I think I'm just going to play it safe and go for low kick. Because low kick, even if he has Choppleberry, uh, which he's not, we saw Life Orb. But even if he had Choppleberry, it would still do more than return. So... Yeah, we're just going to go for the low kick. He's going to Ice Shard me, obviously. And then all I need to do is connect a Thunder Wave on the Altaria, and I win. 
That's it. So let's see. Is he actually thinking about keeping this? No. Okay, so he doesn't even have Ice Shard. So we're going to knock that out. That HP bar went down way too slow. So down goes Mamoswine. Show me the Altaria. Considering the Mons I have left, I'm thinking about not Thunder Waving. Just to get off damage. Just clicking return. I brought low kick in case of protect. Because his uh, his steel weeks are heavy except for Klefki. Obviously Klefki could have been dead way earlier, but you know. Oh well. Um So Mega Alt. Takes 51 to 59. Okay, now the thing is, if he brought a Cotton Guard set, my better play might be to Toxic him. Rigu, this is uh, the Altaria? No. It's the Tran. We saw lefties on this. Heatran dies. Doesn't it? It's a low kick? Max HP. Max defense. Max HP, max defense, without a without an impish nature or a bold nature, um, takes 88 min. So he's be, he'd be dead um, if he's bold. I'm still doing 81 to 96 to this, so we're still gonna go for the we're still gonna go for the kill. There's the low kick. That's a dead heat ran. So I think the reason that he did that was to uh, make sure that I couldn't roar him out. Which makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So now if this thing is Cotton Guard, at this point, because I don't have the option to roar him out anymore, I think I'm going to put him on a timer. I'm just trying to think. Is that the play? Shouldn't I just go for return since... Since Mudsdale... Eric... Lives... Plus one return from Altaria... Just gotta watch how much time I have left. Altaria... Uh... Mega... Max... Whoops. That's not it. Uh... Do, 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 do. Click another Mon... Alt, okay. No, I don't have time for this. Uh, I do. Altaria to max attack uh, Jolly, which he had to bring. Plus one. Return at level 50 to Mudsdale. Um, okay. That's weird. Um, I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the Toxic. Because if he's caught in guard, I need to make sure that I'm wearing him down. Let's see. Oh my god. And he's Dragon Dance. Oh no, come on! Alright, I need to go for the Thunder Wave. Right here. And I need to connect. I should have gone with my gut. I should have gone with my gut that was telling me Dragon Dance. Like, if he decides to Dragon Dance again, I can still very easily win. He decides to go for Frustration. Alright. Down goes Megalop. 
So I need to check Altaria versus uh, Barbarical. Pixelate. Fairy. Wait, let me just do this. 92 max from Jolly Max Attack plus one. How much do you do to Mudsdale? Sixty-one. How about at plus two? Sixty-nine to eighty-one. Oh my God! That's stupid. Because with that toxic. I, heavy slime would have done 60 to 71 here to max HP. Wait, that's the max HP. Hold on. 73. You know what? I think I'm gonna go off the roll with Mudsdale. This is 68 to 81. So if I get a decent roll, I can knock him out. That, that's what uh, considering 80 HP inv investment. So that's what I'm gonna go off of. Hopefully that's enough. He's gonna DD again, I know he is. That toxic miss, I swear to god if that loses me the game. It's cause like if he was caught in guard and I clicked return, I guess I could have toxic him after. He is caught in guard. Holy shit. He brought DD caught in guard. Wow. Crit? I need a massive crit. I need a massive crit right here. And I'm assuming his last move is Roost. I need the biggest of crits. That would make up for the toxic miss, honestly. Because, like, his last move has to be Roost. It's not Refresh. Had I connected that toxic, I would have been fine. Has to be Roost. Yeah. I need a huge crit. Actually, I might not need a crit. I just need to make sure he stays right there, right? Hold on. Jiraiya. Uh, yeah, I can still knock him out with something. Heavy slam. If he returns here, he actually may be throwing the game. Because return wouldn't kill me, but it would kill me with a combination of poison. And I'm pretty sure Return still doesn't knock out my Mudsdale. 69 to 81. No, it can knock me out. Okay. It's going to keep going for Roost. Like I said, there's still a move that I can click that will win me this game. Heavy Slam. That's 75. Damn. It's not enough. He's really playing, risking the crit right now. Man, if I had hit that Toxic, this game would already be over. Come on, man. Ugh. Can't believe you brought DD Cotton Guard. He's gonna keep going for Roost. Like, if I get a crit, I kill him. Legitimately, I, I straight kill him. So I don't know why he's doing this. He should just attack at this point. He should know that he can kill me. Okay, that's better damage. That's the kind of damage that I need right now. <sighs> he should know that he can knock me out now. Is he gonna go for another Cotton Guard? 
I feel like that's what he might do. No, he just keeps roosting. Again, like, if I get a crit... I get off a massive... Either I kill him or I get off a massive amount of damage and it puts him in range of what I want to. God damn it. Come on, Gator. Attack me, dude. Why aren't you attacking? Just knock me out. You know that Return knocks me out from here. Come on. You're plus one Altaria. This is... I'm at 42 HP. That's so lame. Even if I had clicked return, I would have still won. Because he didn't have enough... He wouldn't have had enough HP to cotton guard up and, and uh, take a hit from Mudsdale. As you can see, it's consistently doing 25% every time. He would have taken 50 from the return. That's really, really frustrating. I feel like I played this game perfectly and I got messed up by... I covered every set with, with with Toxic. I covered Dragon Dance. I covered... There's the frustration. Wait, frustration. Did he make sure to put his happiness down to zero? We're about to find out. Alright, there's still a way I can win this. But it requires me to get a very high roll here. Barbarical, Jiraiya. Uh, plus two. Actually, it still requires me to get a crit. So my better play is to... Well, does a regular crit kill? Yes, it does. Um, is there any way... He's at 75. He's at plus 3 defense. There's no way I have to go for this. He goes for Dragon Dance again. Crit, 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 crit. Come on. I deserve this. Poison? Too little, too late. I'm gonna die to frustration. I'm definitely dying to frustration. Mudsdale's dead. God damn it. That is so stupid. I'm actually pissed. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm I'm I strongly believe that I played better this game, and I still come out with a loss. So, I don't know. This is gonna kill me. It's plus two. There's no way I was living that. That is so dumb. Chise is not in range to be able to live this. For whatever reason, if I live, I guess I'll go for a Thunderbolt, just in case. Thunderbolt plus poison kills. But he's at plus two, he's gonna knock me out. That's so dumb. All right, guys. Good game to Gator. Um, the uh, the toxic miss. Oh, we're not gonna talk about it anymore. But yeah, we're one in four. Um, we are minus what now? Ten? Minus uh, one in four minus ten, which is not the worst record. But I had this game in the bag and I lost, so uh, I'm a little upset. I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm, I'm like legitimately. Uh, oh wow, it saved this time. Uh, I'm legitimately upset, so I'm gonna end it there. Uh, guys, make sure to go and check out Gator's side and see his reaction to the Toxic Miss. Uh, if you guys want to do that, uh, go and check him out definitely, though. He, he's got great content, so uh, I highly recommend him. And uh, as for us, I don't know what we're gonna do from now on. Uh, I have a trade probably coming up next week. Uh, yeah, you guys should see the trade coming out uh, tomorrow. Hopefully I get it in in time, but that's, uh, that's really disheartening. Um, I think that uh, I should have won this game you guys can disagree if you want to in the comment section down below but i think i should have won this game anyway guys uh if you guys did enjoy of course make sure to leave a like down below subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you guys later ciao